Hello, we have here a book I've had for a while. It's called The, the Decoy as Art, about um, the, the de decoy birds that people use in uh, for, for duck hunting and things like that. Okay, anyway, it's uh, a work of art in and of itself. Okay. The Decoy as Art. Waterfowl in a Wooden Soul. Photographs, photographs by James A. Warner and Margaret J. White. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this. Decoy. Yeah, this I've had for a long time. So let's take a look at it. It's an interesting subject. Let's take a look at some of the... Ooh, what's going on? Look at the arrangements they have. Let's, tar let's carve a decoy duck. A thing of beauty in every trace and shape and form and classic grace. Embodiment of highest art. Woods endowed with soul and heart. From sense and satire. W.A. Ray Fogel. Oh, so this, it has a poem on each one. And then it shows you a decoy art. Oh, there, there's the head, you see. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, here is, it shows you how you can decorate with these waterfowl. And here is the poem. Decoy and apples. Decoy and apples. Collector's room. Let's see the poem. Thanks to art, instead of seeing one world, our own, we see it multiplied, and as many original artists as there are, so many worlds are at our disposal. Marcel Prost. Prost. Oh, these are nice uh, decoys. Look at those. And this is the collector's room. Hold on. What's this? This is the galley. The galley. Oh, you see there's a swan over there. That's... Things are pretty graceful, rich, elegant, handsome, but until they speak to the imagination, not yet beautiful, Emerson. This is what? This is Susquehanna Trading Company. Look at all these ducks, wow. If you're a collector and you see this, you, you see this place, you'd go wild seeing that. We must not subject him who creates to the desires of the multitudes. It is rather his creation that must become the multitude's desire. Saint Exupery. Okay, that can be figured out. That can be uh, thought about and contemplated. But anyway, take a look at this Susquehanna Trading Company.